Colombian superstar Shakira, who says um, temporarily losing her voice two years ago was the darkest moment in her life, which affected her deeply. In November 2017, she was forced to postpone her Eldorado World Tour for seven months after suffering a hemorrhage on her right vocal cord. She made this known during an interview with AFP in Barcelona. She said, and I quote, um, you take many things for granted when you have them. In the case of my voice, it is something that is so inherent in my nature. It is my identity. I always thought that one day I would lose many things. One day you lose your youth, one day you lose your beauty, you even lose friends. There are people who come and go, but I never thought my voice was something that would disappear." End of quote. In what she described as a miracle, Shakira recovered her voice back without needing to undergo surgery. Mm. So yeah, that's a miracle it has to be, and I'm happy for her. I mean, it's, I don't understand it. It's, 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 when it is your source of income and you lose your voice, mm. it, it could definitely feel like the world is coming to Even an end. Even if it's not your source of income, mm. the moment you lose your voice, I mean, just ordinary, um, the common one that we usually have, and you just feel very uncomfortable and you're, you're just down. I mean, sometimes it could lead to depression because you want to say a lot of things, but you don't want to stress your voice. And you just be like, mm. imagine if you now have to go through the stage for a very long time, Plus, that's where you get your money from. Mm -hmm. Like she said, that's her identity. That's what she lives for, basically. Uh, I can imagine what she went through, but I'm happy that she's out of it and she's in a good place now without surgery or any of that. I'm, I, I, when it comes to voice, I think if you take your time with it, you will definitely get over whatever yeah, it, it is. It doesn't happen like that for everybody. I think there, maybe Fair will correct me on this one, mm. but their own cases you can't hit the kind of chord you're supposed to hit or people have mm. known you for as an artist. So even if you can talk, you can relate, you cannot be able to perform or give your best at what you do and what right. people know you are. So it is, it is not funny at all. I remember when we talked about techno skills techno, yeah. and the kind of um, surgery. I mean, it was even difficult for people to understand the issue and how to deal with it. So I'm happy for her. All right. So, um, on this Shakira's issue, it's not even about being the source of income. It's not about, it's about what you love, what you're passionate about. It's like um, a farmer losing his hands. Obviously, you can't tool the ground anymore. It's like um, a doctor or it's like a writer losing his sight. Obviously, you can't write books anymore. So if, as a singer, you lose your voice. That is something that is very important to you. But one thing I see from this is that every disappointment is a blessing. Do you understand? Because she got her voice back naturally, but she got time to spend with her family. Because family is everything at the end of the day. So if she had time to spend with her family, and then after two years, miraculously, it came back. Maybe she just needed to take a break all along, but obviously we can totally understand where she's coming from by saying this is my identity this is what i stand to represent i am shakira we've known her with that very very beautiful voice and she's blessed our ears with beautiful music beautiful sound do you understand so if you can't do that anymore that's that's very devastating but she got it back naturally and i'm really glad about that and um She's going to be doing the Super Bowl with um, Jennifer, Jennifer Lopez, Lopez and mm -hmm. on February 2nd, 2020, which happens to be her birthday. So mm. that's exciting. So I'd like to see what she's going to deliver to us this time around. And then Shakira is a legend. She's 42 and she's married to the football legend PK. Or mm. Are they married or they live together? I don't even know. They but well, I, I, I was, I was, I was I'm sorry. Act, was she not spending? That, it's not just that she didn't do surgery. She, she recovered naturally. So she the line of natural remedies basically mm. that's what she was i wasn't to was she not, I'm, i don't know but i just wanted to confirm was she not spending time with her family when she was doing music no no obviously you spend time with your family but it's going to be limited because when you have your voice you have to go on tour you have to go on shows you have to travel to different parts of the world to perform so you have reduced time don't you but think that you kind know, of time spending is going to come from a place of sadness yeah because it's, it's not what you want to not do. Not i don't think how, how will anybody think that spending time no, with your I'm family not saying, Mm. Because be of what like she's sadness. going through, it's not like she so decided she's to take time be out her herself. Yeah. Happy self okay, I'm her going. I'm going to bring Kevin out into this. Um, his, re his recent interview where they asked him that when are you going to get back into comedy? He was like, mm -hmm. oh, it's going to take a while right now. I'm enjoying the family and I'm I'm enjoying my quiet time. You understand? 
So sometimes, that's what I'm saying, every disappointment happens to be a blessing one way or another. It's how you choose to I look get what it. you're saying, but I feel like when she lost her voice, it happened at a very terrible time. Because I mean, she yes, was preparing for her talk. Like she referred to I, it as the I, darkest moment yeah, in her so life. I don't, I feel but like family is not something that The time that she's taking out as, would be like, like she said, the darkest moment of her life. She'll probably be, um, she will not be so happy to even relate a lot with people. No, not with people, quite all right, but family? No matter what is going on with you, you still relate with family you very it's well. Can never it can never be, be like when, yeah, when you actually you're... decided and there's no issue. But mm. I understand That's why I'm saying it, it's, it depends. It's relative. It's where you want to look at it from. Do you understand? Whatever reason I get to spend time with my family, that is like the best moment of my life. Good. Okay. We'll go for a quick break, but when we come back, we we'll introduce our guest to Brightbar.